EIC is an important tool to for multiple reasons. What it does in a lot of facil a lot of places around the country, as we all know, care tends to typically will stop in the evening. Patients are stable, the doctors go home, and kind of the, we're in a holding pattern until the next morning. The EICU allows us to continue care throughout the evening. We have a physician, quote unquote, at the bedside. We have nurses at the bedside, not just uh, the, the nurse there. We also have experienced nurses here who serve as a resource tool for the bedside nurses. So for, if a patient comes out of the operating room late in the evening and they were very stable, often in the past, the answer would have been, just keep them sedated until the morning and we'll deal with it then. Now, we'll, the EICU physician will look in the room, look at the patient, talk to the nurse, and say, you know what, this patient can be safely extubated tonight. So we'll, we'll, move, we'll, we'll go ahead and put the patient on a breathing trial and, move, and remove the ventilator, allows us to speed care up. It also, as I mentioned earlier, is a safety net. Because of all the alarms that are programmed in and all of the variables that we're monitoring remotely, we can pick up on things and, and try to head off things before, bad, before something bad happens. And so uh, the combination of being a safety tool and also allowing us to progress care throughout the evening and in the early hours of the morning, what we can what we've been able to demonstrate is that our length of stay in the ICU is lower, our ventilator days are lower, um, and so it, it, from that standpoint, it makes care cheaper and it also makes care safer.